So this is the video on why the body is revolutionary. Um, also, what's gone wrong with that in, in the modern world of yoga and mindfulness, and what can be done about that? Okay, so uh, this field of embodiment, which means how we live in our bodies, the body is a part of, an integral part of who we are, the, the basic reality of us. Um, the problem, the big problem in the modern world, right at the heart of many of the issues of the modern world, uh, is we've lost touch with ourselves. We've lost touch with that. And this isn't an accident. There's historical reasons for this. Um, essentially, though, the main one is there are uh, the ruling elite of this planet would like us to be disembodied. That makes us easier to control. Uh, it also makes us easier, much easier, much more likely to do basically psychopathic things like kill each other and kill the planet. Yeah, we can't do those things if we're feeling, if we are in contact with our bodies. Um, so there's various methods for disembodiment over the years, various ways in which this happens in my other videos, you can see those. Um, but it's happened. The body has become a brain taxi for most people. Um, we're actually now uh, turning our own body into a consumer object. We're commodifying ourself. Yeah, this is an it rather than an I. This is a lump of meat for many people and the advertising industry is particularly diabolical in supporting that. Are you beach body ready? Are you fuck off ready? Um, so, uh, you know, this is the state of the modern world and what it means is these things like inequality and environmental destruction and war can happen because we're not in contact with our own values, our own empathy, which happens through the body and our own feelings. So that's the bad news, okay? Whew. Uh, the good news, the good news is there has been a movement uh, since really the 60s to re-embody things like yoga, dance, meditation, martial arts, embodied practices to get us back in contact with that reality so we can be happy and be in contact with what we actually need, right? Uh, so we can be in relationship, so we could be in connection. Beautiful Daria filming this, hello. Uh, so we could be in connection with ourselves, also with each other, with the planet. So this movement is a very beautiful thing, uh, very close to my heart, it's what I've dedicated my life to. Um, so that's great. Um, also very important for leadership. Um, if Mr. Billaban had known this, if he was in his body, if he was inspiring in any way, then he almost certainly would have won the last election, which I am quite unhappy about. So there's the, the good news. Um, however, the second lot of bad news, the second lot of bad news is that movement has now really been co-opted. That movement, particularly of mindfulness and yoga, the sort of two biggest, best known ones, uh, is now really in cahoots uh, with modern consumerism. So in what ways, what do I mean? Well, there's an access issue. It's pretty expensive to go to a meditation retreat in the UK or the United States uh, to go to a yoga studio in London. So there's an access issue. More than that though, I think what it's happening is it's making us bear life. What do I mean? So it's making us tolerate the fact that we live in a really screwed up system where all sorts of bad things are happening. And instead of changing the world out there, we say, you know what, I'm stressed. I had a bad day at work and I hate my boss and the news is depressing so I'm just going to go to yoga class for an hour and I'm going to relax and I'm going to forget about all that. And it's acting like um, an anaesthetic yeah, so that, that's enabling us to keep doing uh, terrible things to each other on the planet, to keep coping really with what we should be screaming about. We should be in the streets saying, you're selling our national health service, what are you doing? I should be angry about that, I should be stressed about that. It's not about calming myself down and, and getting rid of that somehow. yeah. Um, so there's the sort of uh, anesthetizing effect of it and it's also just being used to make ruling elites more efficient. I've worked in big business with mindfulness, I've been a part of that and I've seen how mindfulness teachers take, have taken out things like the heart practice, the ethics, part of uh, the kind of whole package just to make people that are really doing horrible things more efficient. Yeah? Um, you know, I mean, perhaps the worst example of some of this is in the yoga world where you see in modern yoga, uh, really buying into that body beautiful, the commodification of the body, the yoga magazines, the you know the the the, the yoga selfies, and uh, the, the sort of making that image supposedly of the perfect body um, even more widespread and sort of very nefariously under the banner of something spiritual, doing the same old spiritual materialist consumerist bullshit. Um, you know, there is also an Asian tradition we've inherited of, 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 um, of really conformity. You go to the average yoga class, what people are practicing is not listening to themselves. It's obeying authority of 
Mr. Enger or Mr. Dick Graham or whoever supposedly got the perfect model of how a body should be. Um, so, you know, I really question what we're practicing in, in those things. So, there's a problem. What's the solution to the, where are we at? The solution to the problems of the solution, yeah. Um, it, for me, this several, I think it's an open one, it's a new one. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. I think we need to challenge mindfulness and yoga teachers not to be doing this pro uh, commodification of the body to make their courses accessible, to link them to areas of social justice that are important. Um, we really need to be challenged on that, we need to be challenging ourselves. I know for me this is you know, some really tough decisions in, in my own work around this, you know, that involve loss of money, uh, that involve my upsetting people, but for me this is, is just an important thing and something that bears looking at. Um, I'm looking at how yoga needs to be really recreated to combat some of these consumerist forces, to not just make us cope with it, but to actually empower us to uh, be of some use in the world. So, this was done very last minute uh, on just an iPhone camera, so I hope it's been, it's not an advert, uh, just hope it's been of some use and my rambling thoughts are at least a little bit coherent. So, um, yeah, thank you.